Hey guys, Centaurin here, and welcome to another episode of The Time Lord of Azeroth. Today we are back in Garadar for a moment to pick up a quest on to our next adventure. Sub -sub. My original orders were to remain in Garadar for the, a short time, then continue on and report to Bloodguard Gulmak at Shadow Moon Village. What I've seen in my time here is that Garadar could benefit from a long-term horde liaison. I know that Bloodguard Gulmak needs all the troops he can get, but I know he'll understand that my mission here isn't yet complete. Travel to Shadowmoon Village in northwestern Shadowmoon Valley and inform Blood Moon, Bloodguard Gulmak of my delayed arrival. We are headed off to Shadow Moon Valley. Gulmak grumbles upon hearing of Korgaz, Korgon's decision. I understand his point of view, but we need warm bodies in the trenches here too. The Legion's bombarding us with infernals day and night. If Korga, Krogon, if Krogon's going to be delayed, you can take his place in the field. Strength. Gulmak looks at the sky. Our scouts are putting up a good fight, but the infernals are, keep coming. From their base of a legion hold to the southwest, demons bombard us with impunity. Even the elite Korkron guard cannot hold them off forever. I'm drafting every able-bodied Torn to do their part in defense of Shadowmoon Village. This is no game, Hunter. The survival of the village is at stake. Do your duty to the Horde and join the fray. The Come quick. And thunder. I'm impressed that you managed to survive the carnage. You just might be the person we need for a dangerous mission. Strength. Fortress of Legion Hold is your target. You'll have no reinforcements, so a frontal attack is out of the question. With, a, with what little information we have shows that the Legion stocks and prepares its infernals at the hold. With the help of a disguise I'll give you, you must sneak into Legion Hold and discover their plans. Your best hope is to intercept or overhear communications between their commanders. Hey. That is to the south. Requires a legion communication device. Oh! Where do we get the Legion communication device? I mean, their commander.
Guess the best thing to do is just go at it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Really kind of isn't sneaking in, if we're being honest. yourself as an innocuous object in order to infiltrate or using hold. While hunkered underneath the box, you will be unable to move. You may only use it while standing near. Oh, okay, I gotta be near it. Not exactly sneaking in. But we could camouflage ourselves and actually sneak in. Let's see, we need to get up. That's not gonna work. We're gonna have to go in the door. seconds left on that. Oh, he's coming this way. Need to get out of here. Monk's going after him. <laughs> that was one way to handle that. <laughs> you don't tend to see a lot of other players in the This is still the way we're going. Everyone is in readiness, Warbringer. Doomlord Kazakh will be pleased. You are to increase the pace of your attacks, destroy the orcish and dwarven strongholds. Warbringer, that will require us to use all the holds infernals. Don't worry about that. I've increased production at the Depth Forge. With all the infernals you need to carry it out. It shall be as you say, Warbringer. One last question, if I may. Yes. 
What's in the crate? Great, I didn't send you a crate, Jova. Don't you have more important things to worry about? Go see to them. This is how we escape. Just going to jump. Probably a bad idea. Let's go. Go. Oops. That's the button for exhilaration on my other character. Ooh, and we have something new. Let us look at it in safety. The shard appears to be a piece of a larger weapon. Sharp looking runes etched into the metal glow with a menacing light. The weapon's intended purpose isn't clear to you, but it's hard to ignore. Most of the Morag at Legion Hold seem to be working with fragments of the same metal you hold in your hand. Perhaps one of the weaponsmiths at Shadow Moon Village might be able to tell you more about it. Okay. Now that is something we're going to worry about later. I think he actually saw us now. Okay, we should be safe to mount up and then get out. Let's go. What do you need? What did you discover? Dabu. Bloodguard Golmek listens to your report, growing more alarmed with each sentence. What do you mean they're going to set up a bombardment? We can't allow that to happen. Get back there and take care of it while there's something left of Shadow Moon Village. Go we can't allow the Legion to trample us on their march to Black Temple. Find a way to destroy the Infernals they intend to use against us. This is not a request, Corfeus. This is an order. The Fetrid Pool near Legion Hold holds a an old Fell Reaver power core you could use as a basis for a kind of Fell Bomb. Search the wreckage near the Fell Reaver for a section of armor plating. You should be able to make a bomb powerful enough to take out those infernals and give the hold a nice shake. Okay.
is this in front? Yes, it says, okay. Get out of here. Mount up. You hand the materials to Gulmak. Gulmak slips the power core inside of the casing and then seals it. That should do the trick. I shouldn't I wouldn't want to be in the hold when that thing goes off. The device we've assembled won't win any beauty contest, but it should be capable of destroying the Infernals amassed at Legion Hold. Judging from what the Fell Reaver's power core energy did to the fetid, fetid pole, it holds a respectable amount of explosive power. If you set the device off in the middle of the green glyph at the hold, it should be in range to hit all of the or Infernals. The Should be able to sneak in the same way. I don't think it would have replenished anybody yet. fighting to do. Sub, sub. We found a way to destroy the Legion's infernal sack Go pile. Gulmak nods victory. grimly. This is no time for celebration, celebration Corpheus. We're not out of the fire yet. I've got new orders from for you. Go While you were taking care of the infernals at Legion Hold, I've been going over your reports. We've got no reason to believe the Legion lied about what's going on at the Death Forge. They're really cranking out infernals down there. So I've dispatched a scouting party to keep watch over it. If we don't shut down the Death Forge, they'll rebuild the infernal stockpile that you destroyed at Legion Hold. Report to Scout Zagran, top slag watch to the southeast of here, overlooking the Death Forge.
blood and thunder. The orc nods. It'll be good to have the backup. We've gathered some preliminary information on what the Shadow Council is up to in there, but it's time for the hammer to fall. For the horde. Zagran listens to you recount the events at Legion Hold, nodding. That fills in the gaps we've seen. We've caught glimpses of them launching infernals in the direction of the hold, but haven't been able to find much more than that. The Shadow Council has the forge pretty much locked down. Looks like you're going to need to fight your way in. Start eliminating the Shadow Council guarding the entrance to Death's Forge. Down. Ten Death Forge guards, Death Forge guardians, and five summoners. I've been down there cracking skulls myself, but I'm under strict orders not to engage the enemy. The scout grumbles, doing a fair imitation of Bloodguard Golmog's voice. Let's get to work by shutting down the production in there. Strength. The scouting party originally had three members. Unfortunately, Kagrosh decided he wanted to be a hero. He descended into the Death Forge, and we haven't seen him since. In all likelihood, the fool's gone and gotten himself killed. The Shadow Council members aren't idiots, and Ka Kagrosh wasn't exactly strong in the subtle subtlety department, if you know what I mean. Keep an eye out for him in the Death Forge and recover any information or items he might have collected. Go with honor. In order to churn out Infernals as quickly as the Death Forge seems to, they must have an area dedicated to summoning the elementals from the 
that form the core of the Infernals. The summoning chamber is likely to be found below ground near a pool of fouled water or lava. Locate the summoning chamber within the Death Forge and find a way to end their summoning ritual. The Morag, Morag, Moark, the Moarg involved in making the Infernals may carry a tool that will help disrupt the summoning magics. Strength. First thing we need to do. It's all under, it should all be underground. But back into.
basically we want to be careful about the dormants. Don't use arcane if necessary, unless necessary. York's corpse has been casually tossed aside so not to litter the hallway. Search the corpse. We have the pack. Could do. What we're going to do. Make our way down from above. Probably a better way to do this, but... Go for it. Sunk, sunk. Go forth to Did you find any sign of Kagarash in the Death Forge? Zagrun shakes his head as he accepts the pack from you. I told you he was a fool. I hope there's something in here that justifies the time you spent searching for him. We cannot afford to let their production continue. Have you put an end to the summoning the ritual? Good. We're making progress. That puts us one step closer to shutting down this facility and returning safely to Shadow Moon Village. Go forth to victory. We've made a lot of progress against the Shadow Council here at the Death Forge, but now it's time to finish the job. I found a key among the items in Kar Kagarash's pack. At least he accomplished something before they got to him. The key should help you track down this Warbringer Razun you observed at Legion Hold. After you've hunted down and dealt with the Warbringer Razun, report directly to Bloodguard Golmak. We must not keep him waiting. Straight.
What news do you bring from the Death Forge? You make your report to the Blood Guard and hand over the captured orders. Good work, Corpheus. Don't go thinking you'll be getting any ribbons for it. Let the Night Elves decorate their pretty little uniforms if they wish. Real warriors share tales of battles over a mug of ale. According to Ruzan, Razunt orders, the massive infernal staging area is called Invasion Point Cataclysm and it's located in the mountains behind our village. The only way to reach it is by using a teleporter at Legion Hold. Certain Legion minions carry a device allowing them to use the teleporter. You must capture one of these devices to win access to the teleporter. Slaughter all of the demons if you must, but you, cannot, you can't afford to return empty-handed. Do not delay, the enemy is perilously close. Controller back to the village. Blood and thunder. The Legion presence in our mist is not tolerable. We must gain access, find a way to deal with it before they can renew their assault. At last, we have the means with which to drive the Legion from Shadow Moon. Now, that now that we have access to the Legion's base at Invasion Point Cataclysm, we need to figure out a way to shut down their operations there. Shadow Moon Village won't be safe until the Legion's presence is erased from the valley. I've sent an advanced party to the Invasion Point to help you formulate a plan to destroy the Legion's supplies. Go back to Legion Hold and step into the teleporter with the green crystals above it. Nakinsi? Naka and Nakansi Nakansi will meet you at your destination.
How you do? You must be the torn blood guard Golmak told me to expect. I have a plan in mind, but you'll I'll need your help to complete the preparations. Spirits. The best way to destroy the rest of Legion supplies is to use their own weapons against them. I've been working on a rig that will let you take control of one of the Fell Reaver Sentinels below. There are a couple of things you need to work out yet. For that, I'll need the manual that Dr. Malefic Maleficus keeps locked in a chest near the bottom of the ramp. He'll pro he probably won't give you the key without a fight, so you'll need to capture it. Bring a Fell Reaver manual back to me, and I'll do the rest. Stay away from them. Did you get the manual? This has the information I'm looking for. Just a couple more tweaks. We'll have you taking control of a Fell Reaver in no time. Nakansi leafs through the manual. All the information is here, but be warned, there are thing these things weren't built to be controlled remotely. We can modify one for you to use for a short time, but you'll have to work fast. There's no telling what might happen. I wouldn't be surprised if your little stunt with the Fell Reaver catches the attention of the Legion scum either. Try to keep yourself safe, but remember the mission and safety of Shadow Moon Village comes first. Break the few control consoles down the slope. Get to one quickly and take control of the Fell Reaver. You only have a limited amount of time. Yeah. 
on your mind. I'll admit it, Crefeus, I'm impressed by all you've managed to accomplish destroying the Legion's ability to make war in Shadow Moon Valley give us the opportunity to turn the tide elsewhere. Spirits. You must bring word of our success to Overlord Orbarak or Barak immediately. Now that we've crushed the Legion and obliterated their presence in Shadow and Valley, the Overlord can turn his attention to our other foes. Although the Horcron Guard will never admit it, they'll be glad we're no longer fighting on two fronts. Roktar, be safe. The Overlord listened to your report. Excellent news. Holding the line against the Legion's Infernals was taking too many resources. Now that I expected my men to break, not that I expected my men to break, but they were greatly strained. You have proven your worth to the Horde this day. The Corcron Guard would be honored to fight by your side any time. For the Horde, we say. And that is where we are going to call it an episode. I am really liking Shadow Moon Valley on this first one. So. If you like it as well, please consider giving it a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell for notifications on new episodes and live streams. And I will see you all in the next one.